Alright guys, so I'll pick up where I left off in the last video here. So I got my freaking oil pan, the uh, flange is all clean, I went around like with the wire wheel and then uh, rinsed it all out and some Varsol. Freaking uh, gave her a new paint job there, so it's all nice and shiny. Freaking went around here and uh, cleaned up the flange just all the way around uh, there. So I'm going to be using just uh, that gray silicone there. So. Freaking, uh, I'm just going to be running like a thicker bead on the inside edge and then uh, smooth it all out over there. Freaking all on the other part there. So I'll get that all on there and toss the oil pan on. But uh, first, actually, before I forget, too, I got to uh, clean this up a little bit there and then uh, put on the new uh, friggin' uh, oil strainer there. Alright, I got my oil strainer right there and a new freaking gasket, so I'm just going to uh, put like a really thin coat of silicone around there, and then I got the two bolts here, so. Yeah, so I can toss this on there, freaking, and uh, put the oil pan on after. Alright, I got the oil feed on there, it's freaking on there with the gasket and all that, so I got a uh, freaking oil pan all siliconed up, so freaking, you want to like put on a pretty like generous coating, but like, don't go like too crazy, but... Uh, Cause that's all it is for the oil pan so I'm going to uh, throw that on there I got the bolts all sitting there so I'm not going to tighten it right down like I'm just going to put it on snug right now and uh, let it sit for about like half an hour to an hour there and then uh, that's when I'll torque them down so I'll just get doing that alright so there we go the oil pans all on there freaking uh, I just have it hand tightened right now, uh, just enough so you can start seeing it uh, ooze out the side like the littlest bit, so like you don't just crank it right down. So I'll let that freaking uh, set for a little bit, and then uh, we'll I'll work on some other stuff while I'm waiting. All right, I got these two O-rings for right in there. I'm gonna uh, put some of that Hylomire there, freaking have some left. So I'll put those in there on the oil filter pedestal, and then. I'll toss that on while I'm waiting for it to dry. Alright, so the oil pedal still is on, so I'm going to put the water pump housing and all that on there. So I got the new gasket right here. There's like this weird spacer that goes right here. I'll show you when I put it on and stuff. So, freaking, uh, I got that all painted up right there. So, looks all nice and pretty. Alright, so uh, I checked with the... Uh, service manual there and I guess like I have to put the oil metering pump on first so I just tossed that on real quick like on my other engine and like this one too I didn't have the new uh, little o-ring for it so I just put like a little bit skim coat of uh, silicone around it there it worked on my other one so freaking should be good for this one too so now I can uh, put this on there I'll get that washer and then I'll make another clip Alright, so this is that little washer I was talking about. It goes on those two fire ones. So I'm just going to set the water pump housing on there. And Alright, so I got that set. It's just uh, set down in place, but i uh, just going to show you this here. Hit my light. So right under here, there's that little tab. So uh, you kind of have to like lower this down uh, with those underneath it, the lines for the oil metering pump. And then uh, this one bolts right there. So I'm just going to uh, bolt this thing down now and I'll keep working. So I got the nozzles for the metering oil freaking lines there. So you can blow through these. Uh, just out of that little nipple there and make sure that, uh, you can blow through them and all that. So there's the two little copper washers there. So just make sure one's on the top and the bottom of the little freaking ends there. So I'm just going to toss these on. And so I got those oil freaking metering nozzle things on there. So they're on there nice and tight. So now I'm going to be uh, throwing on this like oil feed line here. Just at the top. It just runs across and... Uh, bolts in the right there with uh, two copper washer washers and a banjo bolt so toss that freaking thing on and uh, keep working away I guess alright so I stuck this little uh, extension there for the oil drain for the turbos there so pretty much just working my way around getting every little thing freaking bolted on it there so just gonna keep going around so it's coming along pretty good it's starting to look more like an engine so I'm just about to put on the primary injector fuel rails there so I got like the injector diffusers here so you can see there's that little notch and then uh, down in there there's a little groove there so it's got to line up with that and, like these just uh, help with like fuel atomization and stuff so freaking I'll uh, toss those in and then I'm gonna just bolt up the freaking thing there but there's a little spacer here I'll show you guys before I put it on just uh, don't don't forget to put that on there too 
All right, so the injector diffusers are in there, and those little uh, rubber insulators are there. So I got this uh, little spacer just on there, so you can see it's just the that black freaking uh, piece of plastic there. So just about to bolt these on. I just wanted to make sure you guys seen that spacer there. All right, guys, it's coming along pretty good. So you can see you got like quite a bit of stuff on it now. The parts pile is getting a little bit smaller, so. It's pretty much time to uh, put the like lower intake uh, manifold on there. So just about to get the gasket and stuff just set up, and uh, I got it all clean there. So I'll just probably toss it on and uh, make more clips as I go along. Okay, so that's coming along pretty good. I just got to uh, put on the turbo manifold now, so it's starting to look pretty good. So I'll turn the camera upside down. You can see it on its side there. So freaking right. So it's a few more things. I got the exhaust manifold right here, they got the gaskets there, one of the studs came out when I was taking it apart so just got to set them there and the holes go towards the back of the engine there on both of them so just about to toss this on. Alright so the exhaust manifold's on there, freaking torqued down so now I have to uh, put the heat shield on over top of it so I'll just uh, get that thing. Freaking right boys, so I got the turbos on there, freaking it was a bit of a pain in the ass because uh, all my studs came out, but freaking I'm uh, just going to start working on putting the heat shields back and stuff like that, but it's night time so I'll come back in the morning and do all that. So. Alright guys, so I'm just picking up where I left off last night, so I might have a bit of a problem here, freaking uh, that grey silicone I got with that rebuild kit I think it's kind of shitty like I put this on there last night and it's still freaking tacky like it's not hardening up in here freaking I don't know if it's the temperature or what but like I got this freaking Permatex Ultra Copper and like this stuff has no problem hardening up like the freaking tubes fucked but I poked the hole in there and it's like hard as freaking hell so I hope I don't have to pull the freaking front cover and uh, oil pan back off like the other stuff won't really matter but that's pretty and freaking important though so hopefully uh, we'll see if I leave it longer it'll dry up completely but if not I'm gonna have to pull those off and uh, freaking get that shit done so I've just been working away at the turbos there I connected uh, the two drain lines there so you can see them right up in there freaking and then I just stuck this uh, little freaking horde of vacuum lines there freaking just off to the side with the turbo control actuator just sitting underneath there so still have to mount all that up but I'm gonna uh, put on like the friggin inlets and that Y pipe there and I'll uh, put on the heat shields and stuff on the turbo so let's get working on those and I'll get another clip after those are done alright so I just got the Friggin uh, oil feed line right there tightened up and then the water feed line and then the water return down in there so I kind of paid the price I painted the freaking little nipple there for the water feed line or water return line there and it was freaking a bitch to get that hose over like it probably took me like at least like 20 minutes to get her up in there so that's all freaking good there so now I can pretty much just uh finish bolting up everything on the turbos. So I got the charge pipes pretty much all started here so that's why I spent the time when I was uh, putting the turbos back together making sure everything was lined up so that uh, this thing will sit in the right spot so should be good to go now so freaking put that on and uh, I just put on this little shield here should have went on the one I put on the intake manifold but put it on now freaking so Pretty much I'm just going to put on that and uh, then start on the other side of the engine there because you can see this side's coming along pretty good. It's all nice and full of crap. So yeah, just a few more things left here to toss back on. Alright guys, so I had to run out for a minute but I'm back now. I got my hose with me too. So Yeah, I got a bit of uh, fuel injection fuel line, some uh, extra heater hose and then some uh, vacuum line and stuff like that. So. I'm going to be redoing the fuel lines first off, like right here. You can see I just cut it. I've been freaking trying to get that uh, little clamp off. It goes to right there and then uh, these two pieces of hose right here. So I didn't need too much. So I just got uh, just, uh, pretty much a foot. Yeah, so I'm just going to be working on those right now and uh, freaking I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Alright, so I got the new fuel lines all on there. There's two pieces there. so. Freaking, uh, just gonna start putting on like the oil 
friggin' lines for the oil cooler and stuff. So there's the one. I'm gonna clean this one right here after. So, so I'll just toss those on real quick. Alright, I got the oil lines on there. So the one goes right there and the other one goes to the front cover. Right up in there. So freaking now I can put the bracket for the AC and power steering pump back on and I'll uh, just keep working away. I stuck like the air filters on just to check them out. It's the Gretty like twin air filters freaking thing here. So each like turbo gets its own air filter. So just freaking checking them out. Freaking no. Uh, anyways, I'll get uh, put more stuff on this side here. Freaking uh, should be almost ready to go back in the car, and then the rest of the stuff can go on it. All right, so I'm just about to put the crank pulley back on. If you look right here, wait, my light. Oh, it was on. There's that little dimple right there. On each one of the pulleys, there's a dimple, so you can see it kind of right there, underneath my finger. Like each one has those. Freaking on it, I'll just show you it on the back, if I can find her. Yeah, it's like right there, so you just line up all those, so uh, this... Alright, so this side's coming along pretty good, I got like the freaking AC compressor all on, the front's freaking pretty much all finished too, so... Well, right now, like, I just pretty much have to put on the air pump and, uh, I can like set her, like, do the clutch too, actually, and then I can set it in the car, so... Freaking, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, so I just have the clutch left to do now, and I can freaking toss her in and put the rest of the stuff on. So, freaking, uh, just walk around her real quick. Oh, it's freaking coming along pretty good. It's got lots of stuff. This side's kind of dark, I know. I hit my light there. But, uh, anyways, freaking, uh, I'll do that clutch. I don't have an alignment tool, so I'm just going to use my universal one here, my finger. Just uh, line it up there, so freaking should be good. There we go, so the clutch is all on. As you can see in here, I just freaking line up that crap. Yeah, I just try to keep it like even all the way around, so freaking hopefully that works. So, like I did that with my twin disc clutch even, freaking no uh, alignment tool and it still worked out good. So, freaking should be good to go, but uh, I'm just going to toss the upper intake manifold on and freaking set her in the car. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Freaking only a couple extra bolts left over. But, uh, anyways, freaking about to set her in the car. Alright, so I stuck the upper intake manifold on so I can have that uh, lift point there. So, just about to freaking lift her in there. So, I just went around and made sure I had everything done that uh, needed to do outside the car because once it gets in there, it's pretty tight. So, freaking, I just went down underneath the, the bottom there and uh, put on the turbo control solenoid actuator freaking thing there so put a new e-clip on that so it's freaking all good to go now alright you can see the parts pile is getting pretty low like it's just the starter alternator the vacuum rack and the coils and then like the intake piping and down pipe and stuff like that so freaking ah stepping on shit Anyways, so I got this in the light a little bit better. I'll come over here so I can get a decent shot of it. So you can see it's coming along pretty good. Freaking a lot more stuff on it now. Get a shot from this angle too. So freaking right. So uh, yeah, I'm just about to uh, set it in there. I'm just getting it underneath my uh, hoist there. So freaking right. There we go, boys. I'm just warming her up before I drop her in. So uh got her on the freaking hoist just gotta get my car in a position here I have my freaking uh, little transmission support freaking beam there I gotta take out and uh, jack the transmission up a little bit so I can squeeze it in yeah those freaking dollies make it nice and easy I can just pull that around like with freaking barely any effort so got her freaking lined up so about to freaking drop her in so engine goes into freaking engine bay Alright boys, look at that. Freaking, uh, it's basically seated right against there, so I just gotta get the bolts underneath uh, for the motor mounts and then uh, start tightening it down, so freaking right. So remember there's somebody saying that I should take the transmission out or I'll never get it in. That took me like freaking maybe 10 minutes or less to get it in, so it's freaking pretty sweet. 
All right, so there we go. She's all freaking bolted up in there. So uh, we're just gonna start putting the rest of the stuff on there and get it ready to fire up. But uh, that's gonna be in my next video. So it'll be just uh, getting her ready in the engine bay and everything you do before I fire it up. So freaking, that's pretty sweet, man. It looks nice to see an actual engine inside my car now. So just a bit freaking longer and uh, freaking this thing will be running. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.